Hey guys, Collector's Quest here, and today we have a package from Shopee. Uh, this is a package that I have been waiting for a long time, and this is a toy that my girlfriend bought for me because we had a dare that we wouldn't spend for a week, and she ended up buying toys on eBay, so she actually owes me a, a toy, and this is the and this is a, the, the toy that I actually bought. She actually bought for me. So let's take a look at what we have over here. I actually opened it already just so it would be faster to unbox. Here is the toy. This is the Pokemon Scale World Galar Set Series 1. Or Set 1 rather. Because there is a Set 2 that comes with like uh, a Galarian Farfetch and a Galarian Pikachu. So we are going to check this out, the set one. It comes with some of the starters and their their full evolution. So we're just going to take, open it over here. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Come on, I'm going I'm so good. Oh my god, oh. Yeah, I have a cut. See? Look. Oh my god, it's bleeding. <laughs> Look, it's bleeding. Love it. It's bleeding now. <laughs> Wait, lang. So, this is what happens when you get too excited opening your figures. Uh, you could get hurt, you could get cut. And in my case, I got cut with the pair of scissors but on the on the good side we got this open so let's check out what we got so before we open this i would like to put on some hand cream uh, sponsored by my sister follow her on twitch tiny tony bean i will put the link down below i would put her i would put her twitch account over here so that you guys can see it gonna put some hand cream so that my toys would be smooth <laughs> now that we have the hand cream let's get to it and crack this thing open so here we got uh, how many is this seven figures one two three four five six seven and and as you can see we have this filler spot because it does not contain uh, enough figures to fill it up so they just put a filler spot for for the packaging so that it won't you know it won't shake while in transit so let's start with this first this first one we got Grookey and Twacky this. This, this is the grass starter type so let's open it up we didn't get in too much oh they have the candy you guys saw my Snorlax video actually explained that these candies were put in the box so that um, they they can sell these toys at the candy shop. So here we have Grookey. Really small figure, really cute. Wow. Oh, I have a small paint chip at the body as you guys can see. But this is um i think this would i haven't played the game but i feel like that i would go with this starter if i play it so i don't know but just because the evolution just really looks good i don't really like the second evolve i don't really like twacky we'll take a closer look about him later As you can see here is his stand it goes it goes on his tail as you can see, and he stands really nicely over here. We've got closer look over there, and got Twacky. Got Grookey there. Now we're going to check out Twacky. Okay, so here his his second evolve. It's actually a weird design, in my opinion. As you guys can see, it has the mohawk, but. I don't know, it's actually really, it's okay. Not the best design that Pokemon really gave us. Yeah, it's really nice. 
mine actually came with good paint applications this time some pokemon scale world don't really have good paint apps because of the quality control that they have as you can see here is his stand goes on his tail as well there and he stands really nicely you guys can see over there really nice here's a size comparison with his first evolved take a look at number two so we got score bunny raboot and toxel this toxel is really cute at the set two they actually have the toxicity toxicity so if you complete that you actually complete the full evolution they actually have the two kinds of toxicity over there not familiar what the other one is called. Oh, okay. That's the yellow. That actually has the like a shiny variant. Oh my god, Scorbunny is so cute. You guys can see. And we have another candy. Uh, more candy. And let's take a look at the Scorbunny first. You guys can see. Really small figures. Roughly around you know one inch. As you can see over there and here is his stand it comes with a stand and so it goes like this so he's, he's kind of like mid-air it's kind of flying like mid-air kind of hopping in a hopping kind of pose as you can see he stands really nicely on his stand but some of these scale worlds actually stand really good on their own regardless of their stand with or without their stands but for this figure uh, it doesn't really stand on its own very well so you actually require the the clear stand that it comes with okay so you got the uh, score bunny over here let's put that aside and let's take a look at raboot got the raboot slightly a bit taller second evolve this is actually a really nice design it looks really cool the paint applications on my figure actually came really nice it's nicely done and i think this is his stand if i am not mistaken you pour them behind it behind him so that yeah yeah it's uh, that's about right so Here's a closer look at the Raboot figure and he stands really nice on his own. Size comparison for those two as you guys can see the difference. Okay, and we have the cute baby Toxel. Ah, as you guys can see he's wearing like a diaper. <laughs> It's a really cute, really cute figure, really cute design. Kind of has some white over there. And wow, it's a really nice, really cute figure. Okay. And I don't think it comes with a stand. But he does sit. He doesn't stand. He sits on really nicely. As you can see over here. No, five more. Okay, now we have... Drizzle and Sobble. The water type. Not really not really a big fan of this. Uh, as I said, I prefer the grass type. Okay, here we go. Candy. Okay, so here we have Sobble. Really small figure. Really cute. Wow. This is really nice. Nicely done. Uh, it has a bit of black on at the eyes on my figure. Hey, the the sculpting and the details all along all alone is really nice. So, and then here we have the uh, drizzle drizzle figure, which is actually weird though. It's kind of like an emo, as you guys can see. As <laughs> he has bangs, or is like it's like his. Uh, Call this. I don't know what it's called. 
But he has some side bangs, yeah. That's the term. And he does come with a stand that he ports on really nicely. But yeah, he does not stand really well on his own, so you re you, re you require this stand. So that. Here is a size comparison of these two. You guys can see side by side, these guys are actually really nice in scale. Okay, here we have the Yamper, Wulu, and a Creamy. But I actually plan to buy a Switch now that the the Brilliant brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are coming this later this year. Oh, handy. Here we have these three wild Pokemon. This Yamper looks really cute. It's a Bolton, it's Bolton. It's Bolton. Oh, really cute. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, got excited with this Yamper. Really cute, really cute. Really nice. Looks like a hot dog. But he's a Corgi, right? He's a Corgi. Really, really cute. My paint apps came out really nice, so really happy about that. And here we got a Krammy. Grammy, really small figure. I think they have uh, different forms of her at the game. Not really sure, but yeah. Uh, maybe we'll see a different form of her in the coming releases of the Pokemon Scale World. But I'd actually prefer that they make more, more Pokemon Scale World because we are lacking a lot of Pokemon Scale World figures. And. Here we have Wulu. We have Wulu, the sheep Pokemon. Really cute, really nice. The white came out really nice. Oh, I have a little black over here. Okay, uh, but not really a big deal. As you guys can see, this is really adorable. Really nice figure. I'm surprised to see that this is actually a bit big in real scale with the dog, as you guys can see. Actually, well, yeah, that maybe a bit understand but he's actually really big if you guys can see compared to twacky over here so here we have the final three boxes that this set comes with we have intellion cinder ace and the gloria trainer so we are going to open these up together to have some comparisons and figure So here we have Intellion. I love how his hands are kind of like in the gun pose, like in the game and in real life, in real, in the Pokemon art. Okay, so here his, his stand comes with. Oh, so it goes, I think it goes like this. It goes like this that it would stand but it actually stands really well his his tail supports him on its own but hey we have we can make use of his stand then sending him aside yeah, cinder ace cinder ace is my girlfriend's starter pokemon because it's cute and he is actually really cute he's small compared to this intellion figure here we have Cinder Ace over here. Really small figure. But the paint came out really nice. I am very happy about this. Compared to my other can my Kanto, my Johto set. Some some paint really came horrible. So I'm glad that they have improved that in that area. You guys can see here is his stand that it comes with. He stands really nice. He can actually stand on his own. Yeah, he can stand on his own. Okay, just put that aside. And finally, we have the Gloria trainer. Okay. And here we have the Gloria trainer. As you can see over there, 
comes with, uh, she, she's wearing a jacket. I have a bit of black in her, her hands, but I'm actually really happy about this. The beanie looks really nice, really nicely sculpted. And her bag, wow, really looks nice. Really captures the anime design. So here is her stand. That it comes with. There we go. The stand is actually a bit hard. It doesn't really match, as you guys can see. Her feet are really close. But yeah, it it works. Yeah, it actually really works. Yeah. So okay. So here are all of them out of the package looking really nice i am really satisfied of my girlfriend's purchase and i hope that next month she would uh lose the bet again and so i get the more toys so as you guys can see here are all of them lined up and as you guys can see that these starters over there you guys can uh, see the size comparison and the second evolve and I really, I am hoping to get the real boom real soon. So that to pair up with the grass type. And Intelligent is actually really tall compared to uh, what I think his height is supposed to be. And Cinder Ace is actually really small. I did not expect their heights to be like this. And as you guys can see, Gloria over here, really nice figure. Overall, really satisfied. I would give this set a 9 out of 10. Because <laughs> I'm really satisfied. I'm really happy. Plus, I got this for free. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you for staying until the end. It really helps the channel a lot. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. Collectors Quest PH. And follow us on Instagram for more toy photography at CollectorsQuestPH. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.